Mr. Sarnoyan, uh, what is the connection between the arts and the media? Yeah, it's uh, recently become very common question about this because there are many artists who are involved in media, also uh, like creating their work in a media platform and also using media tools, and which also become reason to get a new direction in art and contemporary art called like media art. This is uh, more like how media contributed to art development. But there is also uh, other side when art can contribute to media side and uh, support media development. So many media tools are in some point also afterwards like taken from art practice when there were some artists media artists doing uh, like some creative solution they found and then later it was used for uh, media. Okay, um, uh, uh, we would like uh, f to ask you to specify um, how arts can be used and misused for propaganda. Yeah, this is another very important topic to be talked about. Unfortunately, uh, I thought we have this shortage in Armenia only, like, uh, I mean, like cultural journalism. But during our international activities, when we were visiting other black partner countries, I noticed that this challenge is everywhere existing. Not that much, maybe. It's like, it's a kind of important journalism that helps readers or followers to distinguish this process of separate art and cultural development, not always look at this in the political context or other context. So that's the important point that I would like now to highlight, that cultural journalism is very important uh, section for of journalists that maybe need everywhere to be, uh, to be developed. So why I started with this? Uh, because to unfold this such a question, what will be arts contribution or uh, towards propaganda in a bad way or, or in a good way and vice versa, this is uh, like cultural journalists can do better research and also uh, tell this like to wider uh, circle of re uh, readers to understand uh, how it goes, because there are a lot of confusing sides. Uh, for instance, like when we see in a, some propaganda site a lot of art using, we think that those art pieces were created for that propaganda, but it is not like that. So they were independent artworks and they later taken and used for propaganda. Second, because uh, at the beginning, if we go to ancient time, uh, art itself as a separate discipline, we can say it didn't exist like that. It was always tool for powers and kings to glorify their victories, what they are doing, and they mainly were using in uh, monumental architecture as a storytelling telling what is going, but we have this as an archaeological uh, artifacts and as an art piece survived that we study. But, uh, so, so, so this also shows that how it was used in the past as a field. But we have also other changing like happen and after Renaissance and the Proto-Renaissance period when we have this illumination uh, period coming over when science become very important. The time art also got liberated from such complex. Before, like in the aristocrats were holding that, they were giving like money to paint their portraits in a realistic way that one can see gold, one can see that they have diamond, that they are very rich. But with already impressionism, we know that uh, came another kind of revolution in our so, and their slogan was art for art, art pour l'art. So that became very like liberal liberation for art. And the art 
was totally out of, became totally out of political and propaganda context. So this is like shortly from uh, art history, how, so how to see the evolution. And now it is again back in some point that uh, it can be used for propaganda already borrowed tools from art, that this is art anyway got independent uh, development uh, evolution like process, but now propagandists, they're looking for new expression as well. This is fact that we have to accept. And where they should go? To uh, art. Why visual art especially? It is uh, one of the direction of science doing their, its own studying in visual expression, impression, and emotional impact on audience. So those tasks and those problems that art solves sometimes, like it is borrowed by propagandists and used uh, for propaganda as well. This is also can cause misunderstanding that we think that it's like, it is actually arts, arts contribution into propaganda uh, tool. And, uh, but many artists are also who is against this. We, especially when we have experience with the communism and social realism, this was like totally, art was with the purpose, with political purpose, political and social purpose. That was the whole idea. Other kind of arts were not considered as a positive. It was not considered as good one, but there were created also a lot of work at that time, even in uh, social, uh, socialistic countries that were hidden during that autocratic period. But it was also against this uh, or autocratic system. And during my uh, talk, like presentation, I used a term that uh, provoked some disagreement that art kills propaganda. I am ready to repeat this again. So real art really kills propaganda. That's evidences why all these authoritarian countries are afraid of real artists and real, uh, like who is in art piece, like created artworks. And mainly, main repression and goes towards uh, art people because to be get better quality in art, Artists need freedom and also to go to the public, to be experienced by society. So one more point also I would like to draw your attention is uh, like when someone creates an artwork in their studio and it doesn't have, ex it is not experienced by society, by public larger spaces, it doesn't have this danger that like will kill propaganda and open eyes but uh, so that's why uh, maybe like the propagandist system is okay with that but as soon as it goes to public appearance this is already a uh, matter to get worry for them 